How you doing guys? Here we are once again on the high performance level valve coming swap into this board. Uh, since my last video I haven't broken the motor, changed the oil in it, put it back in service, and as you can see I've got it pulled back apart again. Uh, go through what happened to it. Not, uh, not exactly sure what happened uh, to cause it. But I think uh, when they built this motor, they milled the head down a little too far. And uh, the valves seem to have been contacting the pistons. And if you look on the head here, you can see that this cylinder has, uh, you can see the difference in the valves. You can see that there's aluminum cake to the valves. And in the exhaust runner, full of aluminum. Here's the exhaust manifold and the turbocharger off of it. And you can see the aluminum in the manifold. And it's also uh, got my fat shaft turbo uh, locked up from all the aluminum in it. And, uh, let me get this number five piston back up. Well, as you can see, number five is a complete meltdown. Uh, and you can see on each of the pistons where the intake valves were hitting the pistons. And on some of them, let's see, like number six here. Let me bring number six back up. Can't hardly tell on camera. But you can see this shiny spot right here where the exhaust valve was hitting it. And you can just barely see where the exhaust valve was touching this one. But you can definitely see where the intake valves were hitting. And that's usually due to either a way, way, way too much boosting on the valve spring, but it's supposed to have 150 pound valve springs in it, so 40 pounds of boost should not be opening those valves to make them contact pistons. And if you look on number six here, right there, can't really see, my camera don't want to zoom, I well, don't want to focus, you can see there's a letter F embedded into that valve. And onto this one. And that tells me that uh, the pistons have contacted the valves pretty hard to embed that letter into the valve. Uh, just trying to give you an update on this motor. Uh, luckily, this motor did come with a one year unlimited mileage warranty through uh, industrial injection. Um, I've been been in contact with them on and off for the last few days about this. Um, they're supposed to be getting with their engine builders and uh, getting this warranty set up for me. Uh, and just so you guys know, if you guys have never heard of a fire ring head gasket, this is what it consists of. A high, you know, a good high pressure gasket. And then there are these six rings that sit inside these of these. And I'll take one of these rings and show you what happens. If you look right here, there is a groove around each cylinder that is specially cut to fit this ring in. And that pretty much seals that cylinder off completely to where it will not blow the gasket. So that's how a fire ring head gasket is, uh, is done. They mill the head to fit a ring in it. And it just uh, makes a superb seal 
to where it uh, will not blow. And even with it melting a piston, it did not blow the head gasket, which is amazing. But hey, that's what it's supposed to do. Uh, so uh, I guess I'll uh, I guess I'll uh, make another video once we figure out what we're going to do with this motor. Uh, they're supposed to uh, supposed to be covered under warranty. All the all the tags are still on it. So uh, well, uh, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Thank you.